So today we want to take a look at the interesting world of interest, simple interest to be exact. And if you're not familiar with what interest is, interest is just the amount of money that's paid for the use of money that's lent or invested. And just a couple of the basic terms here before I explain further. Um, principal is the original amount of money that we're talking about. The original amount of money upon which the interest is based. That's the principal, which we use the letter P for that. The interest rate, uh, denoted by variable R, is the annual percentage upon which the interest is calculated. So just a very basic example here, if I had $100, which is my principal, and my interest rate, the rate upon which interest is calculated, my 4% interest rate, then my interest would be 4% of that 100, so we multiply to get $4. So our interest being $4, which again, let's go back to what this means. This means that if you were to deposit $100 in the bank at 4% interest per year, you would get an additional $4 um, extra back at the end of that year, $4 in interest. In other words, you'd have $104 in the bank. The other way that interest works is when you lend money from the bank. So if you went to the bank and you borrowed $100, you have to pay for the use of the bank's money. So that amount that you're going to pay, again, is $4, but you're going to pay that $4 back to the bank. You'll pay the $4 plus the uh, original $100. So that's the gist of how interest works. And in terms of simple interest, which is what we're talking about today, our formula then is just taking our principal, multiplying by our rate, which is what we did in the example above, and that gives us the interest for one year. And if we want the interest for t years, t being in years, then we got to multiply that by t. And here's our formula for simple interest, I equals P times R times T. Now the other thing we often want to know or keep track of is the uh, amount of money we have which includes the principal plus the interest. So our accumulated amount A is our principal plus our interest and since we've just said that our interest formula is P times R times T, I can substitute that formula in for the interest and I get this expression, and I can then, I'll notice, factor P out of both of these terms. So let's pull the P out front, and if we factor that out, we get P multiplied by 1 plus R times T, which is a formula for the accumulated amount of money we have with the interest after T years. All right, so just some quick examples with this. If we have $1,000, uh, that we're loaning from a bank at an interest rate of 4% over 5 years, let's calculate the amount of interest uh, we would have to pay. So our interest we know is I equals P times R times T. And we know in this question that our principal initial amount is 1,000. Our interest rate R is 4%, which we will have to express as a decimal to use in our calculation. And our time is 5 and so we're going to substitute those numbers into our formula and calculate that out and that's going to come out to two hundred dollars in interest so we will have to pay two hundred dollars in interest on top of the thousand dollars back um, at the end of five years for the use of the bank's money and so part b is asking us about the accumulated amount of money so again it's just the thousand that we borrowed plus the two hundred which is our twelve hundred and we could certainly do that calculation using the other formula we just uh, developed, P times 1 plus R times T. And so let's just do that to practice the formula. Plugging all the numbers in. That's 1,000 times 1 plus 0.2, which is 1,000 times 1.2 which gives us our $1,200. Here's one more example. The question this time is what would be the interest rate paid? So that's what we're calculating, the interest rate. If we were charged uh, $14.65 in interest, so that's my I, 
uh, borrowing 850, which would be the starting amount or the principal, 850, uh, from a credit card for 30 days. And so our T would be, since T is in time, is time in years, that is, that would be 30 over 365. So we can substitute all of these numbers that we know into our formula PRT. We know all of the variables except one, and so we can use our algebra solving skills to determine the missing number, 850 multiplied by R multiplied by time. And to isolate R, we could multiply both sides by 365. and then divide both sides by 850 times 30. And so my interest rate as a decimal will be this calculation. So uh, we'll have to bracket the numerator because we have two numbers multiplied first before we divide. 1465 multiplied by 365. Close up that bracket divided by the bracket of the bottom, 850 times 30. This will be the decimal for my interest rate. Which if I then multiply by 100, gives me 21.0% interest rate. A very high interest rate, which is typical of credit cards.